Good evening, boys and girls. This is Voodoo Magic, showing you a game between uh, uh, MR Job and Stockfish Eight. Now, at this point, the most most of the players uh, were refusing to play MR Job uh, just because they wanted a chance to recover from uh, the the major disappointments that they kept finding themselves in. Uh, so. At this particular juncture, uh, we have a game uh, in which uh, was very interesting. The uh, the layout of the board was, you know, pretty common. Uh, they they uh, the you know Stockfish Eight has the advantage, I think, because he has the black pieces. And Mr. Joe, he started his game with a very common move in this position. Uh, he he starts off with uh, taking the uh, the pawn on g7 hoping that he would retake with the bishop but he doesn't he actually moves the pawn up well this gives MR Joe the chance of taking the the rook now what happens next was very interesting uh, because it's getting it's already getting to the point where uh, there's not many really good moves that can be done by uh, uh, Stockfish 8. So Stockfish 8 decides to get gain a little room in the background here by moving his uh, knight up, but then he gets taken immediately by uh, one of uh, one of Mr. Joe's bishops. Now they thought that uh, maybe Mr. Joe had too many bishops. Uh, at the start of the game, but uh, you know that's just the way the game's played. You, you get a lot of bishops. Now this next move was very interesting because he goes ahead and puts the uh, the king in check, and knowing full well that uh, Stockfish Eight's going to take uh, him back, but he's going to be retaken by the uh, bishop. Now the queen can come down and take this, but the queen's going to get hit. So he he tries to preserve his queen by moving his king out of harm's way but he can't because of this this bishop right there so it's forced it's a forced trade of queens it's not trade of queens uh, take the queen and of course and you guess what he does you know he takes that queen now he can't retake it right now because there's a bishop guarding it so and he can't move over here so his only move of course is right there And at this point, as you can see, the game is over. This, this is one of the fastest games won against Stockfish 8 that I've ever seen. Uh, it was, I mean, here we go. He, he takes the pawn, got backed up by the bishop. There's nowhere for him to go. Both pieces are backed up. He can't go here. He can't go there. He can't take these. He can't move and, you know, he can't take his piece. It's over. So I, you know, I think that... Uh, that uh, Mr. Job should probably take some time uh, and and uh, write basically a book on how to how to just completely destroy your opponents with the variations of uh, board layouts and and I you know it's just uh, it's wonderful to see it's really wonderful to see. Uh, all the different uh, styles of play that Mr. Job uses, all the all different openings that he uses, um, none of many of which I'd never seen before. Anyway, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll I'll provide many more videos in the future. Uh, and uh, you have a good evening, and I hope to be seeing you again very very soon. Until then, bye bye.